Hi, it's Mrs. Kanikins here, and we are going to take a quick look at some different ways to get your Canva designs into Seesaw. Lots of you like to use Canva to design your lessons because, well, there's more tools, there's more precise colors, and there's more icons and all the things. And so some of you have designed beautiful lessons in Canva, but you would love to use the functionality of Seesaw because on the student side, especially for the littles, Seesaw is easier to use. So a couple ways that we can do it, um, but let's hop over to Seesaw and see what that'll look like. Um, so the first thing that you would do is you would take your lesson and you would come to the share button in Canva and you would download it. And I would recommend um, as a PNG or an image file. And you would wanna make sure that you have each of those as a separate page. Now I only have a single page here, uh, but if you had single pages, I would probably save them as single pages. The upload on the other side will be easier. Okay, so we can um, save that. Now, when I go over to Seesaw, I am going to click on the add button. And let's say we wanna make an, an activity here so we can really get the best of those Seesaw tools. I'm gonna click on create activity. And we'll go Canva sample because we need that. Now I'm going to click on, well, there's a couple ways that we can do it. One way that we can do it is we can click on the middle one, upload resource. And so it's going to ask to pick a file there. And this is where we could, if you've saved them separately, you could um, pick each PNG separately. It'll put it on a different page. I'm going to go to my Google Drive where I have that saved. And I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click the check mark. Now, the benefit to this method is that it pastes it on the background of the slide. I can't um, move it around. It's it's stuck there. And so that's that can be beneficial. What we would do now is we can come over to any of the tools. We could add some more instructions up here if we wanted. And what I would love to see you do is come to the check mark and add a frame. So we can come over here and let's say that we want this one to be a photo. So I've added a photo frame and I can put that right in there. And of course I would create my instructions over in Seesaw. And then if I wanted to add a caption under here, I could add I can still add some text if I missed something and I don't want to re, um, re-download it. I can add some instructions here. And then let's say I want to come and I want to, now I want to add a text box. I can add a label frame and put that right underneath there. So we can use all the best capabilities of Seesaw. Now, if I have uh, some different bullets here, I might do um, three skinny text boxes that are just the right size. There we go. And I'm going to duplicate and duplicate that again. So you can see here that we can use any of the tools. This one has audio reflection. So sure, let's show one more. Uh, we can go and we can do a voice recording and so i love the frames because it gives the instructions right inside make it a little bigger there we go and so that will go right there now another way that we can do the canva workflow let's show on a different page i'm going to add a page so a quicker way that i sometimes like to do just because i like to save some steps i'm going to come back over to seesaw and i'm just going to move me out of the way here i'm going to screenshot so on my computer i'm using my screenshot tools and i'm going to just hit capture and then coming over to seesaw i'm going to paste that so it fills in the whole page now in this version I can move it around, so that's maybe not as good, but you could easily lock that in place uh, using the lock tools. So I could just come down here and I can just lock, um, lock that one in place. So 
that's not going to move around now. I can still come in. Let's say this time we wanted to add some quiz questions. I could add a multiple choice question. What color is the sky? Blue, pink, and yellow. We want blue to be the correct answer. So now that'll pop in here and I could add assessment questions to my Canva design as well. So we could continue, but you get the point. Um, there's some other ways you can do it as well, but these are two of my favorite ways to take the beautiful designs and lessons that you've made in Canva with all of their teacher templates and then bring them into Seesaw and use that functionality.